if you've been using follower mods uh, like Lucian or my own, which is Celsas, uh, you may have noticed that you have an option with these followers to have them fight differently from their default uh, combat style. Uh, with Celsas, for example, he, he by default is more of a, a spell blade, um, but he has the option of being asked to be uh, mainly a melee fighter uh, or potentially a ranged uh, fighter. And it isn't super easy uh, or straightforward to do this. The sort of very basic way to put it is you're changing the combat style for the character. Now, without a script extender, that's quite hard to do. Uh, but there is a way to do it, which is compatible, you know, with the with the vanilla game and Xbox and similar. And by similar, there's nothing. Uh, those are the two ways to play PC and Xbox. Uh, obviously, PlayStation, but you wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. So, here we have... I've, I've opened up the kit. I'm already assuming you have your, your followers sort of set up. You've, you've followed... Uh, Joseph Russell's basic guide to uh, to the follower, and you've come to this point. So, we've gone to the combat style section here, and here we have Celsas's base combat style. And now I'm not going to go in to all the different knobs and bits here that you can uh, you can mess with. You can have a look at that yourself and figure out what they do. What matters is you're going to make as many as as you find uh, to be necessary for what you want to do. Once we have made our combat styles, uh, the sort of natural thing to do is to go to globals. Now, I have a bunch of globals here. And I can't really remember. Here we go. So I've made this one. Alternate combat style. Um, and this is just one global. You don't need multiple globals for this. It can just be one global. Um, the base value for this is zero. Uh, and that is what it's going to be when people load in the first time. Unless this is changed by something on the save. So this will be the default combat style. Right. So you've made a global. You can call it whatever you want. We will then move on to packages. Now, here we're going to make new packages. I have mine here. And you'll make a new one. Uh, I mean, I could show you that. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Um, and these packages, you don't need to do anything here. Well, I what I've got on them is actually it's set to none. I've gone, I, I've, I've picked follow, but I've set it to none. Okay. You can call this whatever you want. So th this could be, you know, Celsas. I have no idea. Let's go mage fight package. It doesn't need to be owned by a quest. It's not necessary. What is necessary is for you to put the combat style in here because this is how we're changing out the combat style from the default one that your uh, your character has. So here I've, I've put the the ranged package, uh, uh, range combat style in here, and. Uh, <clears throat> It will now, when this package is active, will you will force this combat style onto uh, the uh, the character. Now, packages usually get paused in combat, to my understanding, unless they've been tagged with an interrupt override. So, it's saying interrupt override combat. Now, if that means Combat is the interrupter, and it's being overridden. I don't know. <laughs> but 
what I know is that this will make the package work in combat. Other relevant thing, I'm just going to close out of this and go back to to one I've made. For me, it, I I want Celsius to just use his default fight package if he's not currently following the player. So I'm checking for that. Uh, the other thing I'm checking for is the value of uh, the uh, the global value we made earlier is whatever you feel is relevant for this. So in this case, my range one is set to two. As you remember, the default uh, was zero. That's what it starts with. I've set this one to zero because this is his default fight package. And these are pretty much the conditions. Now, we need to make... Uh, we need to go down to miscellaneous and we need to go to form list and we need to make a new form list here. Let's make a new one just for the sake of it. There we go. Call it whatever you want. We're going to go back to our package, which for some reason I call them fight instead of combat. I don't know why I did that, but I have to live with it. Um, and you can basically drop those in there. You can select all of them and drop them into the form list, save your form list, whatever. What is next? And this is this is technically the final step. We're going to go to our actor. We're going to go to Celsas here. here. Here's the boy. We're going to go to AI packages. Now this is a mess because I was an idiot when uh, when I first made Celsas and I put all his packages on his actor instead of in dedicated quests. Don't worry about this. <laughs> What we care about is down here, combat override package list. By default, this will say none. What you're going to fill it with is that form list we just made. And you're going to put that one in there. Boom. You're done. But we need a way in game to actually change this. We can't have people open the console and, and manually change this. So for me... It's located in my main follow request here. I have the rules section, the traveling rules. And we are going to look here. Let's talk about tactics is, is sort of the rule I have here. Sure, what do you have in mind? I've got the different things here. Fight like this. Here are the three different uh, fighting types and then a way to exit uh, the conversation. Oh, well, exit this particular branch of the conversation. Uh, you can have in here, I've said it, so you cannot ask Celsius to fight however he likes. Uh, that's the default. That's if you've changed it. So let's go to, let's go to this one. Um, you cannot ask Celsius to focus on melee combat if this value is already set to one. It wouldn't make sense to be able to keep, keep asking him to, to fight the way he's already fighting. Um, it won't hurt to, to just copy paste all the, uh, the links here from the the main one uh if the conditions aren't true it's not going to show up in people's list so don't worry about that we have a script down here very simple um for those of you who don't know scripting you're going to have to declare um you're going to have to declare some properties now right off the bat you're not going to be able to... I should have put some shit in here. One second. There we go. <laughs> You're not going to be able to just throw scripts in there and it'll work. Uh, but we need to make it so that this dialogue here uh, is able to be filled with the script. This this pap papyrus fragment. So I'm just doing a semicolon. Which I believe is is a comment. So it's not a script, and therefore our thing isn't going to yell at us. We exit out. We've now got it here. And we are going to want to add our global as a property. Uh, I don't know what I called it. So I'm <laughs> we're going to go with that. If it's right, it'll autofill. Um... I don't know the alphabet either, apparently. There we go. Global variable. Right. So that's not the name of it. Too bad. We can still find it here. If you have cell says alternate combat style, I just call it alternate combat. That's fine. We've now declared it as this. If you wrote it the verbatim, 
to what your global is called, it should autofill. Boom. Okay. That's uh, That's been declared. And basically what we're doing is we're taking the name and we're doing dot. So so the, the property here, taking that in dot, set value, and then to whatever value this is. It's fine. Don't need that. Goodbye. I'm not going to save this anyway. <laughs> Uh, that script might still exist though, which will which will bother me slightly, and it might be an orphaned script uh, in some future Celsius update. So we've 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 set it through dialogue. We're setting the value here through the dialogue, and it'll be changed in game. And um, you're you're good. You're ready. So we're in game here with our our band of adventurers, and we're going to ask Celsus to change change it up here. All uh, right. Let's see. So we're going to the traveling rules, and we had the tactic section we talked about. Now, in this instance. Uh, since I'm playing sort of a support mage, I've already asked Celsas to play uh, or, or fight as a melee character. Uh, so how about we change him to sort of a spellcaster in the back here. And we can check the value. Full value. If you have Celsas alternate combat style. There we go. It's set to two, which was the ranged one, as uh, you may have recalled from earlier. Sure thing. I'll change it back to melee or melee, whatever you want to call it. It's now one. And I just asked him to do that. He's going to change once he shuts up. There we Jeez. go. If you're just testing this yourself, you can set... Uh, Sorry, I, I can't do <laughs> multiple things at once. Uh, you can set things uh, manually. Uh, sorry, two. There we go. So set name of your global variable two one. I don't know why you need to throw in a two in this case. Uh, because set stage, you don't need to do that. But whatever. Um, so we now set it to, to one. So, so if you're doing um, your testing... Uh, and don't want to do the dialogue thing. Let me get out of You're way. able to do that. And that way. If we actually look at Celsus, uh, and his current package is his regular follow package, I don't know if I can actually gather his combat style right here. I cannot. But if we get into combat... Uh, we may be able to, um, to do so. Oh. Well, he seemed pretty pleased about it. Let's see. So his package, it's his melee fight package. As you can see, and he is fighting in melee here. And he's very upset about his Atronach. But he is actually using the melee thing. Now, we could change this up right now and make him ranged. And as you see here, he moves away. Um, to a degree. <laughs> he moved away, he switched over to... Uh, he's out of Magicka right now, so he can't really cast any spells. Um, but he did, he did move away from uh, uh, what he was fighting. And if we look at him... He should be using the other package right now. He is. Ranged fight package. So he has changed it up. And I'm gonna reload a save. So I don't have to live in this cursed version of Markarth. So I hope that was informative for people. Uh, if you have questions, you can, you can ask me, but I... I uh, I have no guarantee that I have an answer for you, but um, if I do think I may be able to help and give an answer, then, then hopefully I will. All right. Thank you.